time to celebrate a little star in South Africa's golfing firmament, the vital facility that is the Soweto Country Club. We've got so many communities that, that don't have anything and, and to give them the ability to play a, a sport such as golf is phenomenal. I mean, golf teaches you so many life lessons. Um, to see kids like this coming out to learn a new sport, to learn about friendship, to learn about integrity, it would be great to see not only golfers come out of the community, but just better people in, in general come out of the community and Soweto Country Club is providing that platform. The Sunshine Tour itself is proud to be associated with a club which is developing and creating great links with the community. It's played its part in the Joburg Open too, after the event's Pro-Am was deferred because of bad weather. We had two great days, as if the Joburg Open Pro-Ams were going to happen here anyway. So the weather hurt us you know, during the tournament and it's just turned out magnificent that we get a chance to bring people to Soweto, bring people to see a magnificent facility that's just being built and a great layout. For the people in this community, they are sitting on something really that is gold mine that some people might not really be aware of. And I think when uh, Selwyn and the team decided to bring and requested that we bring this sporting event here, I immediately grabbed at the opportunity because I realized uh, what value it will add, uh, what impact it will have. And um, I believe this is the beginning of getting the community around uh, this area and the overall so way to, to actually appreciate the sport of golf to demonstrate to them what value it'll add uh, to their lives, uh, to their community, to their houses, job opportunities and sporting opportunities for the residents. I think I'm excited looking forward to this arrangement. It sounds like everyone's a winner, on and off course, and that is the way it should be. It's been an amazing two days. Two days of hard work, but pure satisfaction when I listened to comments from the different pros and different amateurs having played this course. Some of the people were coming to Soweto for the first time. Some of the people did not even know there was a golf course in existence in Soweto. Something worth shouting about. There's no doubt this can be an inspiring facility. For me personally, you know, I, I come from a, a similar background. You know, I grew up in a township and from a sporting point of view, you need people who've been out there and seen how things are to come in and show individuals that, look, whatever it is that you're dreaming for, whether it be sports or things in life, they are possible. You know, so for us to give back and say, look, I'm, I'm from the similar background as you are. Look where I am now. So anything is possible to me. I think it's crucial you watch uh, how many people have come out to watch us today. The interest just from the locals and from the caddies that are out here and from the juniors that are watching. I noticed a lot of it, uh, them walking around the golf course. Uh, you know, just to bring everybody into the community and to introduce them to golf, especially the youngsters, I think it's very important. Of course, it's one of those things about golf. Always aiming to be conscious of an impact being made away from just a tournament. Joburg Open has been running, what, 11 years now, and uh, you look at the uh, benefit, direct benefit to the city, I'm enormous. We get this sporting activity exposing Joburg uh, to millions of people worldwide, and we look at uh, the employment opportunity that it offers uh, to our people. We look at what it does to, to the uh, tourism industry. It can only really augur well, and I think for us as a new administration, Without any doubt, it's a sporting event that we will keep supporting. That support and commitment is enormously welcome, strengthening links between sport, government, business and communities. The history of Soweto, nobody in the country does not know the history of this particular township. So for us to have world-class facilities, it basically says business cares, the community cares, government cares. If we're serious about sport development, about building the city and build the country, we can only ignore areas like this and sporting facilities like this to our own detriment. Golf is not just really about playing golf. It's about actually building wealth, uh, building capacity in, in, in our communities. And I really hope and trust that uh, residents of Soweto and this area in particular can actually recognize that potential. But I think us as a city, we're not going to leave this to chance. 
we are going to work hard in ensuring that uh, we can get the community in this area to take ownership of this great facility for themselves. I've got a feeling Sunshine Tour Weekly will be reporting plenty of good things from Soweto in years to come.